Hello out there YouTube. I come to you today with a little odd and end doing around the house. The wife's telling me her washing machine's taking all day to fill up again. So yeah, we had just recently moved here. And so we got new water lines, new hookups and stuff, and it's presenting it a problem here. She's not got, uh, it's not wanting to fill up correctly, so thinking I know what the issue is here. She's got <clears throat> that kind of water coming in, and I was supposed to be all the way across that running a full stream, so yeah, it's taken her forever to do a load of laundry, about all day actually, so I'm going to show you what to do to fix this problem. It's a pretty simple little fix. Last time I had to clean it out, <clears throat> I used the shop vac on it, but it wasn't as prosperous as I hoped it would be anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get over here first. I want the cold side, which is on the top here on this one. I assume it's any washer, but I'm not sure about that. It could be a bottom one, which is a good way to tell. A lot of times just squeeze the pipe. Sometimes you can tell one will be from cold feeling when at least warm. So it's one good way to tell the hot from the cold if you're not sure about it. So yeah, get that righty tidy and get it turned off. And then also I've got a, <clears throat> a bucket set and placed under it there to catch the uh, water that's in the line right now. Here to it. Probably the hardest part of the job is just climbing over the washing machine <clears throat> to get back in the little washroom area here. Okay, right here we've got the top one. First we're going to take it loose, so we want to go lefty loosey. And I'll take my channel locks here and set down and open them up and set them down a notch. Give a wider mouth up here. And now we'll turn this to the left. Loosen it. We want to go just <clears throat> a little bit on this to start with just enough to um, actually get the um, water that's in it, give it a second to drain off. If it come too much out, it'll just kind of spray it everywhere, and you know, we don't want that. Don't want to soak the bathroom. I thought that would be enough. It's actually not, so I can get a little better light in here. At least a drip came out. It's looking like it may not have a whole lot of pressure to it until I drop it down. So we'll just make certain to drop the hose directly into the bucket. Of course, when I drop it down, the water gravity will bring it out. So definitely don't want to. Definitely don't want to get it everywhere in here. Little wife will be in here ready to reach me a mop. <laughs> Are you trying to have to mop the bathroom now? Okay, we got that bad boy off there. <clears throat> okay, now right here's where your problem comes in with your pressure on that. You can see all that sediment junk gone back in there. It's pretty nasty. Okay. Towel right here, just wipe out what's in the mouth of it here, and then I'll get out the trusty little pocket knife and just kind of scrape my screen off lightly. Just be careful not to apply too much pressure so I don't actually puncture my screen because then all that stuff 
will be in the pump rather than in the screen. And you know, that's not going to help us a bit there. That would actually make the problem worse. So, okay, I'm going to use typical buck pocket knife here on it. And as you can see here, I just scraped the screen off right here just to kind of get the dirt and grime down out of it. Hopefully, it could be a time consuming process. I'm hoping not, but I mean, it's got the potential to be. You can see I'm actually touching the screen very lightly with just basically the weight of the knife scratching across there. So I'd imagine it would be quite easy to just go ahead and puncture the um, screen with the knife. It's a little wire screen. You want to be careful if you stick your finger back in there very far. Very far. The um, little wires are poke you in the finger bring about some pain and as you can see there we've got quite a bit in that now yeah. so no wonder it wasn't running too well I think we can definitely see what was hindering the water from coming through the line I'll get what I can out with this the last time I've done this, this is actually uh, the third time I've had to do this since we had moved here. I don't know what in the world is causing it to be so dirty, but it is. And yeah, that's horrible. Um, it's the third time I've had to do this. A lot of times when you move in a new place, especially if you get a new well, and then the new water lines themselves I've seen have something in them that actually gets built up in the screens of like the sinks and the washers and things like that. So if you especially had recently moved in somewhere and you have an issue with screens being stopped off or something, you know, a lot of times this right here would be the problem just from the new lines having different types of sediment in them <clears throat> maybe the like you got a new well something you hooked up to and it be a little rusty and dirty down in it the well i'm on here actually is uh, shared with my mother shared it with me and she's had it for years so it's actually surprising that there's that much in that particular well that's getting in here so i'm thinking it may be from my lines rather than from the well She's lived here for many years and never really had a problem with it, so. Yeah. Notice I'm also scraping the side off right there because that could actually help us too in this process. Um, I'm get everything I can out of here because, yeah, let me push it right back up in there. It's probably came out when the water pressure come off of it. It probably just kind of came back and settled on the sides right here. But yeah, when you add the water, it's going to push it all right back up against there if we don't get it out. So this is a really simple fix that a plumber probably would charge you way more than you really should have to pay for it. Just at the fact maybe you want to know what the problem was, you know. A lot of times, you know, knowledge can save you a fortune. Man, look at that. That is a god. Yeah, hopefully the other two times I had done it, I just had kind of hurried, you know, rushed it, and that's why I had to do it again. I mean, really, I should. I've, I've lived here a few months now, so I should be getting to the stages where things like this aren't something I've got to... <clears throat> so much to be concerned with anymore should be getting settled in at some point here so now I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and just crimp my hose off here and turn some pressure some water onto it and just kind of squirt it back in there spray it back in there a little bit 
Let's see if I can't rinse it out into the bucket here. That might actually <clears throat> help me to um, get that out there a little quicker. And with the knife and napkin method, you know, I mean, that will work. You can get it all out there that way. It's just rather time consuming, you know, so I'm not trying to be all day on it in here. So, yeah, let's see. Get the cold water line here. Okay, let's see if I can crimp this bad boy. Make sure I get me a little flat spot in it here. Okay. That should hinder the progress of the water. Hopefully enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and get over there and cut the water on and hopefully I can cramp it enough to it don't soak me in the bathroom. So yeah, I'm gonna pause it here and get that done. Okay, I just turned it on just like <clears throat> a little bit. So let's see if I can do what I'm hoping I can here. Bucket's really good down there. So yeah, I just have it like set against the mouth of that there of the pump. So hopefully I can get it to rinse it out and uh, set it on the mouth of there. Give it uncrimp it a little bit. And yeah, it's not doing the best job like that. So I'm gonna have to just my process here apparently okay I've got the crimp in it right there so now I'll let it slowly come out a bit hmm kind of complicated doing it with you know phone in one hand and line in the other but yeah where well, there's a will there's a way a bit of it out there but I can see there that I'm gonna have to maybe get further back in there with that or maybe I can get my knife in there and do it I'm not sure yet Let's see how much we got done in here okay it's running rather slowly so I got time to reach back over here and I'll cut my water off I'd have turned it on a little more it probably would have done a little better for me but yeah I'm not gonna really fret that too much okay you can see that water did help me there as I scraped it it kind of came towards me thankfully towards the outside of the mouth of it here so yeah that definitely helped definitely did worth my time doing it this for certain I see quite a bit right there in the bottom still I want to get all that out of there because you know we got the water back on it's gonna push it right back up there in the way and yeah it's not gonna allow my water to come through it still so I'm kind of not wanting that I do apologize for you know my camera getting off of it but trying to do this process record it and all that at the same time I kind of do forget to keep my camera on it and not be looking at it and wind up causing it to uh, not be exactly on it and I don't realize it because I'm actually looking at it just straight up looking at it rather than looking at it through the camera you know so yeah that it does present a problem when I ain't looking through the camera. Okay, let's see if we can't take the knife and push it down and scrape a little more out. I think it's some out. It's still not really efficient to do it, but I ain't done something anyway. 
I'm not an expert at anything, but you know, I try to do everything I can for myself, and I'm just hoping some little something like this. I mean, you, you ought not have to be stuck getting a plumber to come in and charge you this outrageous price to do something this simple, you know? I'm gonna try to stick my finger in there and not get it poked. <laughs> Possible to do it, just as easy to get it poked as well. Okay, I'm gonna try to <clears throat> maybe give myself a little more pressure here with the water. And maybe I'll be able to rinse it out a little more efficiently there. I shouldn't have closed my knife yet. Yeah, shouldn't have done that. Here, get the dirt on the washer. Yeah, I'm OCD, so the dirt on the washer is not going to be acceptable to me. I can't stand to see something like black on something white or something, or dirt or something. I have to get that cleaned up. It'll drive me nuts if not. But we all got our quirks, I'm imagining. Okay, I'm going to pause it again and get over here and cut my water back on and see if I can. Cut it on a little more this time and maybe be able to it's a little more out do a little better job with it so yeah okay. Sorry about that, throw you in the floor let's see if a little more pressure might be what I needed here let's see here now that might have done what I wanted I'm getting a little wind of flowing, but eh, not as bad as it would be with no bucket there anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep the cam on it, yes. Sorry about that again. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll be looking at it actually with my eyes and not through the camera, and it gets me off a little, so... Alright, now I'm going to see if I can, maybe with a napkin, get that last little bit out of it. Be right back with you. Okay, now just so you know, I didn't turn it on very much at all when doing that. So, just be sure not to turn your hose on too much and make a mess. If you want to prevent a mess, it'd probably be best to just turn it on the littlest old bit. Probably not even a tenth of a turn. I turned it there to be certain that I didn't have it too high. Okay. Looks like all I'm going to be able to get easily anyway. But yeah, just remember when you scrape that with a knife. Do not push back in there real hard because you can see it's a full of holes. It's a screen and there's not a lot of metal between the holes so it wouldn't be really strong. It would be surprisingly easy to actually puncture it with a knife, you know. And don't want that because the next time you go to work on it you have to put this here pump on it just where both these hook in. There's behind there's a little like box that's your washing machine pump and yeah that would be what went down without that screen in it you know so definitely don't want to do that and always make sure you got a washer in there a little orange washer you can see that's the difference in it leaking and not leaking it'll leak from back here behind this without the washer so yeah just make sure you got a washer in it before you put it up there and then make a mess before you know you got a problem um, but yeah it's looking like we're gonna have this done that fast you know it's just been like not even 20 minutes yet right at 20 and so yeah it's, like I said you don't want to have to hire a plumber to come in and charge you some ridiculous price and you know some of them unfortunately would want to tell you the pumps down or you know something ridiculous and then wind up just doing that and charge you for the pump price the labor price and 
by the time you're done something that easy to do wind up costing you a couple hundred dollars at best or something you know and you don't want to do that that's it's a problem with the world though you know it's hard to find good honest people a lot of times there's nothing wrong with being a good honest person and living to help your neighbor that's why i do the videos like this because you know hopefully hopefully i save somebody from somebody taking advantage of them i would love that just to know i saved somebody a hassle with a plumber that was greedy or something it would definitely be worth my while and now i've made a mess <laughs> So you expect you might make a little mess, so a towel being handy would probably be a good idea. So yeah, I'm going to try to not walk in that. I'll get me a towel and put down so I don't make a mess. I'll end up getting the floor muddy or something. Yeah. Like I said, I don't need my little wife coming and reaching me a mop. She actually had just cleaned these floors no time ago, so I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate it having water in it when I'm done. Um, yeah, we should be good there. This, and now we'll test it and see if we fixed our problem. I couldn't see why we wouldn't have had it fixed by now. Just turning it back on. It'd be lefty loosey on turning it on. Right to tighten it and left to loosen it just like a bolt or a screw would be. Same with any kind of shut off valve I've ever used on a water line anyway. Okay, let's see now. I don't use the washer a lot. My little wife is good enough to do that for me. Oh yeah, I'm not as experienced with it as she is. Oh yeah, now see, that is what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. I can handle that. So yeah. And that's how to fix a pressure problem in your washer. You know, if it's not actually a bigger problem, a pump or something like that. But with the pump, it just don't work when it don't work I've never seen a case of it actually being uh, actually you know just run a little bit and the pump actually be out so yeah that's a good thing to go with there if it's just running low like a little bit of pressure a lot of times you've got the water lines just stopped up and fellows or fellas you see this here how you clean the mess it saves you some grief with the little woman so yeah, you might want to always try to tidy up afterwards and save you a little doghouse time, hopefully your couch sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the best way to go about fixing a washer with low pressure. And yeah, hopefully I helped somebody out there. Hopefully I saved you some money. And yeah, till next time, you guys keep doing what you can for yourself. And I'll be back with you the next time I have anything at home go down I need to work on. I'll be back with you guys. Have a good one.